it. If you're still struggling with the theory, don't worry. We've got a technique that you can use for getting down some bass lines really quickly and easily. I'm going to show you here. We're going to load it up with an instrument track. And I'm going to use a new synth that we haven't looked at yet, which is the monologue. This is a really good old school analog style synth. And this is going to be great for the kind of sound that we're going to do on this demonstration. I'm going to open it up and we're going to select from the bass list something called Acid Bass. I'm also going to take off the effects. All right, so there's a mix control for the effects here. At the moment, I've got some drums coming from a Hallion on one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a MIDI plugin. So we go to the MIDI inserts and we're going to come down to Step Designer. So this is it. And this creates MIDI note data that's going to play the monologue. All right, so let me just click in a few notes here randomly. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just do that. Let's see what happens. So it's playing these notes in a sequence. Just bring the cutoff down. Acid used to be either sawtooth, which is this waveform, or the pulse wave, which is known as a square on this synth. We can take resonance even higher. That gives it that squelchy kind of acid flavor. Let's bring a little bit of the delay back in. And if you want that Daft Punk kind of flavor, what you could do is to take overdrive up. Can you hear now? Got that sort of distorted kind of flavor. Let's go back onto the sawtooth. Take the overdrive down. It's a cleaner sound. Programming is basically clicking into the grid. You don't have to have this making any conventional music sense if you're making electronic dance music. There are some interesting preset patterns in here that you can use to have a look at as well. So here's a 303 sequence. I'm going to scroll on the mouse so you can see the notes. There we go. Let's look at another pattern. 